Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Sumaina Jim welcome to all things daisy so this night we had an arabian wedding party only us girls was invited boys had a party on another day the function started after 10 pm because it was all after the prayers i have shared a few glimpses of us entering to the glamorous hall as you can see this is the wedding car parked outside it is spray painted only the groom is visible and this is the ladies entrance where it is one sided mirror it was all struck into me it was not like i imagined an arabian wedding to be i don't know if it's the same way in all the arabian weddings only designers follow this everyone except the old ladies wore heavy makeup actually bridal makeup wearing heavy makeup and henna applying mehndi is a must for them in the wedding i feel very bad because i couldn't take even one single video inside because they took the phones and kept it in those shelves also they gave us these black bags to keep our removed abayas and everyone must have to remove the abayas but i didn't the sad part is they didn't provide us food it was only buns and toffees they have several functions in wedding and the food is provided only in few they also had a makeup artist and hair stylist inside so the guests can wear makeups there and come inside or some came all dressed up and the close relatives of the bride wore a hair cap made with jasmine flowers very sorry that i couldn't take any videos inside because our phones were taken they had a lady dj she was singing songs all throughout the function they had also a dance which was hilarious to me it was just moving forward and backwards that is the only step they put from the start to end The function went on and on and on till four o'clock in the morning, and just before the subah prayers, they stopped everything and they sent the bride with the groom. According to Jizani's tradition, they sent the bride and groom to a hotel room for at least ten days. The family sent the food from home to hotel rooms. After ten days, they come back home. So the next day evening, we were invited to a farm from an Arabi called Ahmad. It was his relative's wedding that we went the day before. He owns a large farm with camels, goats, hens, chicks and ducks. I went so close to this camel. Look at this herd of goats. They are so lovely to watch and This one is a newly born one. It still didn't wake up. I don't know what they were talking and they were constantly staring at us. This farm is maintained by a Yemeni. He is there. Look at this his iPhone is on charge and his radio is playing The hut he lives is so simple but he had everything what he wanted there Ahmed also grows bees Look at that that is honey bees And this is Ahmed the owner of the farm And that maroon shirted one gave us freshly milked camel milk We tasted it I tasted it it's good alhamdulillah but the feeling of milking it makes me uncomfortable to drink it more but I took few sips <laughs> When it dusts it's time to go home so here I'm signing off if you like my video like it comment your thought share it with your friends and subscribe to all things daisy thanks for watching